Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal, and on this channel, I share my tips, resources, and guidance on double jaw surgery in 2021 based on my double jaw surgery experience. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my two-week post-op updates, some of my recovery essentials that I use every single day, if not once, multiple times a day, and I will also be sharing some of my photos and videos of recovery from day eight to day 14. So let's jump right in. So I am finally 14 days post-op and I am really excited. Recovery has been really long for me. Um, but I'm really excited to hit this milestone. So far at this point, my swelling has been reduced to about 75 to 80%. I am still swollen like around my bottom jaw and into my cheeks, but that residual swelling, my surgeon told me it will kind of go away on its own in the next three to six months. I also have a lot of numbness from just like around right under my eyes up to the um, top of my lip. There's a lot that I can feel, but I still can't move it properly. So I have a bit of like what I would call like a Botox feeling or a Botox face. So when I smile, my upper lip doesn't move the way it should when you smile. And I'll show you an example of what I mean. So when I smile, it's like my top lip doesn't lift up all the way, but I'm really hoping that, you know, that all comes back totally fine. I'll keep you guys updated on that. My surgeon also told me that the feeling in my upper lip and in this area should come back in the next two to three months. At this point, I am also off my pain meds almost completely. I only take my pain medication if the pain is really severe. And when I'm, when I'm talking about pain, it's mostly like soreness or feeling uncomfortable, especially. I have a lot of soreness on the left side of my jaw and I'm not really sure why that is. If I do feel uncomfortable, I will take like a Tylenol extra strength or like an ibuprofen. That's kind of what I've been doing. Um, I will say that this week, some of my challenges have included pain management um as well as sleeping i have a lot of pain or like really just soreness when i sleep so that's been a challenge in week two this week as well has been like runny nose and like bloody watery drainage that comes out of my nose and that is totally normal it's because they cut through your sinuses when they're working through your top jaw there's a lot of mucus and bloody discharge that is residual and so it's gonna come out in the weeks in recovery i'm also having a lot of like um my nerves are starting to come back i think because i have a lot of like that pinching tingling feeling so that's been kind of uncomfortable i also have a lot more energy this week i've been walking every single day able to do that without getting winded like before but i have to be really careful to not overdo it because if i do too much then i get really 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 tired and i'm out for the rest of the day so just trying to be sensitive to recovery and trying to take it slow with myself and that aspect. Some of my updates that I had with my surgeon this week during my weekly appointment, which I should mention, I will be meeting with her every week for six weeks until my bones are basically recovered and healed and set. So some of my updates from this week, everything looks really good. My stitches are healing properly and she's really happy with that progress. Um, and I'm also keeping my rubber band that I had in my last video. I'm keeping that on until further notice. The rubber band that I have is actually leading this bottom jaw over to the side to make sure that it heals and sets in the proper way. The rubber band basically goes from this bottom surgical hook up to the other 
to guide and lead that bottom jaw. I'm allowed to take it off when I eat. I do, I wear it for most of the day. I just only take it off when I'm eating or when I'd like to stretch my jaw a little bit, but I wear it basically all day and then I wear it all night. I also have a plastic splint because the way that my jaw surgery happened, I had my top jaw split in the middle to make it smaller. So I have a plastic splint at the top of my mouth so that's kind of like why I also have this list. And that's going to stay on for the full six weeks as well. Sometimes it gets removed earlier, but we're anticipating that I'm going to be wearing it for the full six weeks. At this point, my diet is still completely liquid. Um, what I've basically been living on are like canned soups, smoothies, protein shakes, and sure, so those nutritional shakes. I do realize that canned soups are not exactly a liquid diet, but... I basically just swallow the noodles or rice <laughs> and that's really because I've had a hard time diversifying my diet with liquid so there's that basically just swallow swallow everything <laughs> and call it a day. My blender is basically my best friend. I have the ninja blender here at home and I use that for basically everything if I want to chop things down a little finer so that I can eat them or swallow them. I do that. So now I kind of want to get into some of my essentials. So kind of like I mentioned earlier in the video, these are products that I'm using every single day that are eating in my recovery. These, these are my A1. These are what I use all the time. I wake up, I get up, and when I go to make breakfast, whether that be a protein shake or taking a nutritional shake, I always make sure to take liquid vitamins so right now i am using the alive multivitamin maximum potency i am not a fan of the way these taste but they are really important for getting in those nutrients that you're missing because you're not on a regular diet you're on a liquid diet morning i also make sure to take my probiotic the align probiotic uh for digestive support because when you are on narcotics or you've been taking pain medication, it can disrupt your digestive system. So it's really important to make sure that you're supplementing your body with good probiotics um, and good bacteria to make sure that you're digesting well and that your body is staying regular. Uh, something that's been a huge lifesaver for me is their nutritional shakes. So you can get any type of nutritional shake. I just chose the Ensure, but these come in handy a lot when you don't necessarily have the energy or necessarily the want to make a meal. You can have one of these and I have one of them every single day just make sure that you only take them once a day because they are very high in calories and they're very high in, in carbohydrates as well every single day is the aquifer healing ointment so this is basically what i use just for well actually i use it for basically everything i use it for my lips i use it for my stitches that are on the sides of my on the sides of my cheeks to keep them hydrated and also give them a protective barrier so i use this every single day i've used it since the beginning of recovery and it's been amazing it's really helped me continue to stay moisturized and not super cracked um because you do get really dry and really uncomfortable because i've been having such a hard time breathing i always have a humidifier on i have a humidifier in my room i think i use the honeywell humidifier I also use a vix vapor rub so what i do is i just take this and i put it at the bottom of my nose because it is supposed to help open your airways this really helps a lot in helping me to be able to breathe and feeling a little bit more comfortable so have a essential oils diffuser so i like to use that too because i have a peppermint and eucalyptus essential oil that helps to open up my airways too so i always have those on Something else that i use every single day is the bio oil skincare oil so this is amazing i love it so much because it you can be used for so many things for my um incision sites 
um, because it helps to reduce the appearance of scars and stretch marks, but it's just a nutritive oil for your skin. And my skin tends to get pretty dry, so I not only use it on my incision sites, but I also use it on my skin when I go to sleep and sometimes even during the day when I start to feel really dry. I use this for literally everything. I love it. It's my go-to. Something else that I still use to this day um, and I have used from the beginning of recovery is my handy dandy syringe. Well, I was given two syringes at the hospital. I literally use this all the time during week one and then now in week two I basically just use this for my saline rinse that I do every single day. Something that without a doubt you'll also need during recovery is a rag or a set of rags. It's kind of messy when you're eating, rinsing, using your mouthwash, brushing your teeth as much as you can. Rags will come in handy so much and will save your clothes from being wet. That concludes all of my essentials that I'm using in week two of recovery and that I even use in week one of recovery. Thank you all again so much for watching. As always, please feel free to reach out in the comments below about what you want to see. If you guys would like to see a week three update, then make sure to subscribe for updates on my double jaw surgery experience. So today is day 10 after my double jaw surgery. I came out to the park today to get outside of the house um, and just get a change of scenery. So far, um, a lot of trouble sleeping in this week. Just because I wake up and I'm so congested, like I'm so congested all throughout this entire area. And right now I'm still pretty numb, like tingly numb around the cheeks here, tingly numb, but nothing crazy. Um, I still do have some um, bruising down here, some bruising. It's going away slowly, but you know, it's still there. Mm. I have my follow-up appointment with my surgeon this week. Also, have more feeling in my lips and whatnot. But I'm, since I've been able to get in there with like my toothbrush and everything, I actually have stitches all across my top gum line. I can start to see my stitches and feel them around and notice 